For the first time in four years, the Tigers are in the top 25 during the regular season. The Tiger Football Report starts now. For an athlete, there's nothing scarier than a torn ACL. Athletes trust us with their care and their careers because we're a recognized leader in sports medicine. Get back to your active life sooner with MedStar Sports Medicine. White Market's ice cream plant is based in Sunbury, Pennsylvania and locally owned and operated. We've been making our ice cream for nearly 50 years. We create roughly 70 flavors of ice cream right now. We use local ingredients, especially our cream, which is from our milk plant. The cream is what gives our, our ice cream a rich and creamy texture. Now together with our customers, uh, we've created a, a product called Peanut Butter Indulgence, which will be coming out this summer. It's a peanut butter ice cream with sea salt caramel swirl, and chocolate covered pretzel. How could you go wrong with that? Personally, I love our ice cream. You come to our house at any given time, you'll find at least five packets of ice cream in our freezer. Uh, our kids grew up eating wise quality ice cream, and now we get to treat our grandchildren to it. It's been a pleasure for me to be tasting ice cream for over 40 years for Wise Markets, and uh, I'm loving every minute of it. Welcome to another edition of the Tiger Football Report. I'm your host, Spiro Marikas, along with the head coach of the Tigers, Rob Ambrose. And coach, we're almost to October, and the Tigers still haven't played a home game. And finally, this Saturday, <laughs> the Tigers will be at Johnny United Stadium for uh, the home opener, 4 o'clock against the Citadel. I know you and your players can't wait to get out there on the field at the U. And this is going to be nice to be home. Uh, I'll tell you, but we've been away so long, it's not even a conversation piece. We're just grateful to be able to play football, wherever it is. And the fact that we've traveled here, traveled there, it doesn't really matter. Now, well, with all that being said, the visualization of being home, the celebration of the 50th year of football, knowing this is the first home, first game of the season, it will be packed, it will be loud. There's a little bit of buzz in the locker room, just knowing that we're going to be home. It's going to be different. And it is. The, we, we will be celebrating the 50 years of Towson football this Saturday at Johnny United Stadium, TowsonTigers.com, to get tickets, and they're going fast, so hurry up. Now, you take on the Citadel, a team Towson has never played. And you come into this game, you're now ranked 25th in the nation, so you've got a little bullseye on your back. This is a good football team. I mean, they have lost to Wofford in a tight game. They're number seven in the country. They lost to Chattanooga in a one-point ball game. They are the number 20 team in the country. So even though the Citadel's one and two, they are a solid, solid outfit. Oh, God, yes. And uh, historically ranked and run an offense that is difficult to defend. And, you know, it's a, it's a change-up curveball type of, type of offense, and they run it extremely well. They have great personnel and great coaches. You... You come in, you're, you're coming off a bye week, and, and when you face a team that, that runs a, an offense that you don't see very often, I guess those extra days are good to help you prepare. But at the same time, I'm sure your players, after the win at Villanova, were probably upset that they didn't have a game this past Saturday because they wanted to keep the momentum going. That is the, that is the conversation that as we built towards Villanova, we built ourselves to being in a groove about how we go about our days, how we go about our practice and then class, and then eating, and sleeping, and training room, and all that good stuff. And the bye week kind of throws that all off with the goal of one, getting better as a football team, and two, getting healthier as a football team, knowing what's laying on the back end in the Citadel. So uh, it, was, it was a challenge in multiple different forms, but the guys did get a chance to go home. And some of these guys haven't been home since July. So they got, home, got a chance to see some people back home and uh, maybe remember a little bit of why we do what we do you know, for the people back home. But uh, we've been going at it since Sunday and uh, working hard to strain to get back in the group. 
Now, when you look at the Citadel, they've got a guy, Grant Drakeford. This guy has run the ball 24 times for 220 yards, but at the same time, he's also their leading receiver. He only has five catches. They've only thrown the ball 30 times in three games, but he's got five catches for 127 yards, so when he catches it, it goes for big plays. He's obviously one guy you've got to keep an eye on. It's true, and the scheme suits I mean, he's, he's a powerful, strong, athletic young man, and the scheme suits him. Like, you, you better pay attention. You better know where he is all the time. And more importantly, when you play this type of offense, you have to be massively disciplined. 11 guys have to be right or they can make you pay. I was trying to rack my brains the last time Towson played a team that played this type of an offense, and I'm getting old and maybe I'm forgetting something, but I think it might have been Navy uh, the year before you, got, you came back here, and Navy kind of lit Towson up. Now, obviously, Navy is not the Citadel, and there's a difference there, but it's been a long time since Towson has faced this option type of offense. Agreed. And uh, honestly, in the 10 years that I've been here, I don't think we've ever played against a Southern Conference team. So uh, it's a whole lot of firsts, a whole lot of newness. But the point was, we go seven and four and 15 and don't get in. And there's a team, there's a couple seven and four teams that did and a six and five team that got in. And they wanted to talk about strength of schedule and out of conference schedule and all that stuff. So there was a conversation among, amongst the teams in the conferences that we we're going to pick up some of this weight out of conference just to shut people up and that we're going to go play good football teams. Don't matter where they where they're from or where we're from. And we're going to figure it out. And this is the first step, you know, and, and your Morgan win now is looking even better because <laughs> they went down to North Carolina and beat the number four team in the country, North Carolina A&T. So your impressive win over Morgan certainly will look good at the end of the year if you need some type of window dressing. Sure. Well, uh, I'm, I couldn't be happier for them. It's a good coach with a good football team. The kids play really, really hard. And, uh, it's just you get better every single week. So that whatever you are when you start the season, that's not what you are when you end the season, and you have to keep building and keep getting better every single day. And it's good to see that another Baltimore team has picked up on that, and I, I couldn't be happier for them. You talk about you had the extra week off now and, and guys getting healthy. Where do you stand health-wise coming into the Citadel game? Solid. Not great, but not anywhere near the word horrendous. And then... And in truth, it's never going to be. It's, it's a collision game. It's a gladiator's game. It's the last Warriors game on the planet that everyone gets to watch all the time. And it's not about how well you play when you're healthy. It's about how well you play when you're banged up a little bit. And that's part of the greatness of the game. So uh, we'll be good enough to have enough bullets in the gun to keep firing. And then we'll keep working to get those other guys healthy along the way. And a big weekend for you. A lot of your teammates coming back for this 50th celebration. So it's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. I... I Selfishly, I kind of wish I wasn't the head football coach just so I could, I could be involved in all this. But I think it's great. And uh, while everybody gets to celebrate the 50th, I'm going to work hard to make it a good game and coach right. in the 50th. Exactly. Make, <laughs> it, make everybody happy when they go home, when they come back. So, again, 50 years of Towson football being celebrated this Saturday. We hope you will come out to Johnny United Stadium when the Tigers take on the Citadel 4 o'clock at the U. So, for head coach Rob Ambrose, I'm Spiro Marikas. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Tiger Football Report. And as always, go Tigers.